I've never seen anything like it in my life. KKK was on the door. There were no windows left in the church. People say, how did you get involved? How could I not? Racism's a problem of the heart. And the way you attack racism is on the community level. You can't give up. You can't allow just the very few people to determine whether you will go to church. I just thought it was wrong, and it was un-American. And I wanted to make it right somehow. I just know that people should act on their conscience. They should stand up, stand up and be counted. In the wake of the burnings of the churches in the South, my wife and I decided that it was time for us to stand up and say something about it. And when we did, we got more and more support of other people who thought exactly the same way we did, and they're out here. We had always been doing it, we just didn't have a name, and now, um, not in our town is our name now. Not in our town became a way of saying, let's start talking about things now so we don't have those problems. If you don't take some kind of action to, to prevent uh, what has happened in the past, it will repeat itself. What you ultimately want to do is to create a consensus around you that the community says it's intolerable to do that. We met all day long, worked all around the clock. We had heard what had happened in Billings and we thought that was a grand idea to uh, get the community to come together. It's very dramatic when you see that kind of crowd come up on such short notice. So it's very important to have the community step forward and say, hey, we're behind you. Those of us who bear the name of Christ also bear a special responsibility for the rights and safety of the homosexual sisters and brothers in our community. Maybe if they'd been different people, um, Gary and Winfield, it, it would have had less of an impact, but they were outstanding citizens. I mean, they weren't outstanding gay citizens, although they were gay, but they were outstanding citizens. I want to tell you that um, the country is watching us right now, and uh, I think it's very important at this particular point in time that we come forward, we stand up, and we be counted for who we are here in Shasta County. I hear other white people say there is no racism here. How do they possibly know? Pretty much we thought what we'll do is start a campaign uh, and just, if nothing else, get people to, to have dialogue. The Greater Rockford Interorganizational Council is asking people to celebrate the racial, ethnic, and religious diversity of our community by taking part in the Not In Our Town campaign. Not in our town, not in our school. Not you know, we might not be able to, you know, make amends for what, you know, maybe our ancestors did, but we can, you know, stop some of these things from happening in the future. Well, we're here as Arab Americans to show that we're against terrorism and uh, we uh, support peace and to also to show sorrow and condolences to all the uh, families that uh, lost uh, relatives. God bless all people. This is my town. My kids went to this high school. We don't want any of our kids to get murdered for whatever reason. We didn't want 
to have this ever happen again. We wanted to give people tools to be able to handle situations and to feel comfortable in their own community. And because of our big wings, we're going to completely block him. All of a sudden here, we came to a room to listen to teenagers tell us about hate and about understanding and about compassion and, and to talk to us about how we rise from the destruction of this. And so when I saw the play, I thought, oh, this is it. This is what can help me teach tolerance. And this can help me teach the love that we need to teach in schools. You can't go around living in fear every day. You know that? You'd never get in rest, you'd be a nervous wreck. You just, you can't do that. And I refuse to do it. They decided to have a rally to say, not in our town, you know. Here comes Friday. And when I woke up at 7 a.m., it was pouring. Well, we're gonna be lucky to have 25 people because no one's gonna come out in this rain like this. And the people kept coming and they kept coming. Life is too short to hate. Everybody had an umbrella, raincoats on, and they just, kept pouring in. The, the Nazis are bringing a message of hate and they seek to divide us. They're getting a story. And it can't be the only story. We're much stronger and much better than that. They made a mistake by coming to Olympia and that it's not a place where they can have uh, a way in. They can't get their foot in the door here. Sometimes the worst threats bring out the best in people because you sort of rummage through your tool chest and realize, oh, that's what's gonna work best. Is this a bend? Do you wanna uh, yeah. take a look at it? Cool, thank you. What's important for us is to demonstrate what comes naturally to us, and that is to celebrate our diversity, to celebrate our equality in a very positive way, and a way that reinforces uh, each individual within this community. This is not about historic discrimination. It's not about something that happened in the 50s or the 70s or even the 90s. It's what's happening right now. This is a stereotype pool. You write down some of the stereotypes. Write the stereotypes. Stereotypes disappear. It doesn't matter how many laws we pass. Every generation needs to kind of claim this task. Nobody was a hero, nobody did anything out of the ordinary. A lot of everyday people did a little bit to make things different. We just need to take a stand and stop it. If somebody, if we don't do it, who will? This is my community, this is where I live, this is where I raise my children. I can't just turn my back on it. What I'm hoping is, is that the momentum will not be lost and that we will not go back to the way we were.